Yeah, digital. Uh, so I'm, I, I am going to say I don't have an exact number for you. I think it's, it's probably there's a chance it's going to be the second highest all out ever. It may not be the highest all out. It might be the first time we haven't hit that high. I knew last year the all time high would be challenging. There's a big difference between this year and last year. We were the first professional wrestling show and the only professional wrestling show on Labor Day weekend last year. And we were the third professional wrestling show of the weekend this year. I don't think that's a coincidence. Uh, and when I talk about things I wasn't thrilled about, um, I was a little surprised we were the third professional wrestling show this weekend. And it's probably a little bit more challenging in the marketplace um, when it becomes a little more crowded. So our performance, given you know the prior years, we never had this kind of competition and it's kind of a first for us in AEW to see this kind of crowd marketplace. I'm not sure if this is what we'll see from now on. If it is, when the fight is brought, I will continue uh, bringing up fights of my own and I have unique ways to do that. A lot of money to fight with. And uh, this is not a game to me. This is uh, my life and I don't think it's a joke uh, and I take it really seriously. And yeah, so I am very happy with the numbers we did. Given the competition we had, I was hoping that it would be the all-time high for All Out, but it, I'm not sure it's going to quite hit that. So it's the first time an AEW pay-per-view in history did not top the number before, probably. But that being said, it's still going to be, uh, again, the second highest number we've ever done for All Out. And this year will end up being the biggest year on pay-per-view in AEW's history by far for pay-per-view revenue. It won't even be close. So. Uh, even with full gear to come, I'm quite confident this will be our all-time high for pay-per-view. Rank with other pay-per-views this year. It's pretty similar to the other pay-per-views this year. I think it'll be Forbidden Door was an unprecedented success and the biggest debut in AEW pay-per-view history. Uh, a lot of the buys were international, and the price point is obviously a little bit lower in international. I think this would be more total buys and a higher domestic percentage, so the revenue would be significantly higher than Forbidden Door. I'd expect it to be similar to Double or Nothing. Um, but all out last year was higher than double or nothing was last year. Double or nothing this year was the high all time for double or nothing, obviously. I don't know if we'll quite hit that, but I do think uh, it's going to be uh, in that range. So uh, very good given the competition that we've never faced before. This is kind of an unprecedented marker in my opinion, but it's still the, the number is the number and I have to face the competition out there. But when I compare myself to Jim Crockett promotions this weekend, I think I got a taste of the same medicine Jim Crockett promotions took, but I have a lot more fucking money than Jim Crockett did. And I'm not gonna get, I'm serious. I'm not gonna sit back and take this fucking shit.